Shoo! Well, folks, made it down to the pond here. We are ready. Did you just rip? No, that was me. Oh, that bull bullfrogs must be yeah. out. Oh, got it. Oh, okay. You see anything under the moat? Oh, yeah. Bluegill. Oh, the little bass. Oh, there's a bass right there. Yeah. He came out when the said Oh, that. God, yeah. Well, we made it out. We are at the pond. It's a little breezy, but it's about that time, folks. Okay, it's when Big Sheila shows up. So last year, actually on this day last year, actually pretty close to around this time last year. I don't know if it was on this day, but around this time, basically pre-spawn, spawn, post-spawn post at time-ish area last year, I got a six. Oh, we didn't bring a scale. Oh, that's a huge doozy. Oh, big freaking rip. We have a cooler down here to keep them alive until we got to go get a... Oh, criminy. Is there a bucket? If we catch Sheila, we're going to need it. Well... Oh yeah, you can put them in the old fish basket. Well, actually, yeah, you definitely could put them in the fish yeah. basket. You can put it right here shallow. Okay, oh, here's, this is why you're, why this, you, you paid the big bucks here because we got we made fish baskets literally to keep fish enclosed in water. So if we catch big Sheila, if we do, hopefully, we can, uh, there, are they together? Yeah. Okay, we can, I got a knife if you want to yeah. cut it. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So one we, of them doesn't have holes, I think it's this one. This one has Yeah, one of them's got some, I don't think big Sheila would get out of no. the holes area. I don't know. Hopefully not, but yeah, this would, this would keep them enclosed. I think we can float, break my so. PB today for sure. Banjo's PB not is like yours. three pounds. But like I said, this was basically about the same time we caught Big Big Bertha, and I caught her on like a big bluegill glide bait. Just so happens, Guggen Squad came out with the Contender, which is a huge jointed glide bait. And I'll show you. I'll, I got one right, right over here. What? Bam! One of these guys right there. That's gonna be the plan. So throw something like this for now. I mean, we may not catch them on them. We may end up throwing the old clickbait or even a bandito or something like that. But the goal would be catch them on big old fast swim bait in the back of the pond. We don't know if they're on beds yet. We haven't been fishing for like a week and a half, two weeks. So we're just this is kind of our first time out. It is a little sunny, a little cloudy, but I think it's bright enough to where we are. we should be able to hopefully see down. It's pretty darn clear. So that's pretty much today's adventure. Go big Sheila Bertha hunt. That's kind of the plan right now. So with that being said, we're gonna get everything. Thing, load it up in the old surf and turf and head out and try to catch us a big old bass. Stay tuned. Shoo! Banjo's got a little dangler there, the junior. I'm going full size bluegill, mama jam. I think I'm just gonna throw this thing around, see what I catch, and kind of cruise the shallows. I want to see big Sheila. She was six pounds last year, I think six, six and a half. I'm hoping she's pushing seven if she's still alive. So let's get to fishing. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the swim bait games have begun. Banjo's got the junior. I got the full size. You just let it sink for a second and then do a yeah, slow see, reel. Yeah, I was gonna say you like, like a normally jerk? if I if I fish these baits, because I don't fish these baits that often. I, I use them more like a glide bait where you just kind of like twitch it and it does one of these. But if you just slowly reel that sucker, it looks just like a bluegill just really getting it. I'm gonna pull up here where it's nice and calm. Oh my gosh, this thing's just oof. Ooh. It looks so good. It looks so good. So we're just gonna cruise the shallows and see if there's anything up here first and just kind of blind cast as we go maybe pull off a couple fish but i i want to see big shield before i catch her i don't want to just blind catch her if at all i mean i'll take big shield no matter what but if at all possible i'd like to sight fish fish her i'm just gonna try a couple different ways of reeling this sucker some of it being jerk paws some of it being straight reel I'll start kind of looking around unfortunately we don't have a t oh you got one he smoked it he smoked it easy 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 let out a little bit of line let out a little bit of line there you go there you go dude, dude you could see it. that he ate it dude look at that on the Junior contender, bro. Look at the fatty dude. Watch over that hook right in there. It's yes. close. Shoot, dude, that's a pudgy guy. He's so fat. Dude, he's small. You, oh, yeah. I could see him eating. You eat could it. see him. It was right there. He literally just went. Whoop. Oh, he's fat. Look at that chunky. Oh, Big yeah. Big chunky guy. Hell yeah. Woo! I've never caught one on a bait like this. No, that's, I, that's dude, cool to see. Dude, he literally could see him. We didn't sight fish him, but you could see him eat the yeah. bait. Dude, that's a pudgy little guy. That's a good one. Woo! I think it's oh, going to be a good day. What's it got down in its throat? Antenna? Yeah. Yeah, it's a crawfish. Crawfish. Anten crawfish antenna sticking out. You can oh, see it. Oh, that is yeah, sick. See if you can see that. That's the old crawfish. He's got a big old full belly of crawfish. You know why? Because we put crawfish them. in here. Yeah. That's, that's what we literally just put crawfish in here. And he is one of the guys that ate him. Well, that didn't take long. No. We got one fish down. Third cast. Not big Sheila, but we'll take it. I think it's going to happen. Swim bait, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, oh, I got one. I got one, dude. I sm he smoked it. He's, dude, one. he smoked it. It's a decent one. It's a decent one. It's a decent one, bro. He, dude, they're shallow. They're so shallow. That's a good fish. That's not big mamma jam, but that's a good fish. A lot bigger than the average in here. Look at that thing, dude. That's a three-pounder. He's barely hooked. He's barely hooked. Easy pal. Easy pal. Oh, look at that guy. <laughs> I haven't even got mine released yet. Dude, dude, that's my first cast after Banjo caught that fish. Look at that. Yeah, he's a little better, but that's a that's a solid probably three pounder. Look, Look at, at those. Guy. 
I literally threw it and it just sank and he absolutely smoked it. Look at that. It's <laughs> a good start. I would say the fish are biting today, folks. It's gonna be a good day. See you later, buddy. Both on the contender. Should Both. The, the junior versus the full I know, size. I was gonna say, I threw the full size and <laughs> yeah. got big, big Sheila biting. Well, that's a good sign. We just got started, so hopefully we can get another one. I'm gonna go back over here. Yeah, it's hard with this moss, but if you can cast it right on the edge and let it sink and it just does that, they just, they come right out of the weeds and smoke it. All right, here we go. Just like that, let it sink. A couple twitches and you just see the flash and just like, boom. Absolutely hammer it. Oh, oh, Zach's hooked up. You got him? Oh, you got one. Zach's hooked up on the old lunker. It might, that drag sounds like it might need a little work. It's a little on the light side, huh? Really? Shee! Oh yeah, he's a fighter. On the lunky. On the old lunky. Look at that Look guy. At that. Woo! There you go, that's number three. Food, all these fish are not ones we want to put in the cabin. Like they're all they're good. Fat. They're all good fat fish. I bet that crawfish feeding helped. Oh yeah. I bet 100%. that they, they've been munching on that. There you go. We each got one now. We each got one now, so uh, this is good. It's so it's just like hot and heavy right out the gate. This is crazy. Oh come on, Sheila. This wind is brutal though. You get one? Pecking at it. Yeah, this wind's not in our favor. <laughs> We're getting blown around real good. You got him? Yo. Oh, is that got another one? This little squeaky guy. The old lunky. The old lunk daddy. This pipsy. That's the size we want. To that's just a little fish. We definitely want to get rid of him. Today we're not stocking, but a little pipsqueak. I might have you film, Zach, especially on this neck, this stretch right here. This is where Big Mama, is. Is where Big Mama is. Oh, I got her. I got her. Yep. She smoked it right off the right off the old brush pile. Woo! Another good one. Dude, another good one. We're finally seeing decent sized fish. Yes, sir. I wonder if that crawfish feeding really got everything fired up, dude. I don't know. We're catching quality. Look at that guy. Not bad. Woo, on the contender, dude, they're eating it, dude. They've never seen nothing like, probably the fish in your lake or pond probably haven't either. They absolutely love this. You don't even do anything. You literally just like throw it out, twitch it a little bit, let it sink. It's almost like throwing a lunker log. You don't want it to sit on the bottom necessarily, but the bait does the work for you. You literally just throw it out and you just kind of twitch a couple times. It looks so realistic. And it just, it literally just looks like a little bluegill. Just swimming on the edge, especially these little grass edges that we're fishing right now. And they're just absolutely just hammering. I did not expect this. This was like, all right, let's throw the contender, maybe catch one big fish. And it's like fish of all sizes, especially with that junior, are absolutely loving this bait right now. They've never seen anything like it. And it's and it's catching the quality. We've noticed that. Like Zach's had a couple fish that aren't bad, but they're kind of that 13 inch size that we want to get rid of. And so far, this big contender's only been catching quality, quality size fish. That was where Big Mama was last year, right off that point. It's getting tough, it's cloudy, it's windy. It's like, this is not the day to be sight fishing, folks. But oh, I couldn't gonna, resist. You're gonna need to go forward a little, buddy. I, I couldn't resist with it being warm outside, knowing the fish are gonna be up shallow munching. I just really wish we could do a little bit better sight fishing action. It's just, it's a doozy. I can't hardly see nothing. Yeah, she, Big Susie was off that point last year. Big old Bertha. I wish it was sunny. If it was sunny and calm, dude, it would be the deal, but. We might just have to do a little bit of blind fishing, which don't hurt. So far we're catching them, but I really was hoping we could do some bed fishing. That's like my favorite thing ever is to bed fish, especially the backyard pond. You only get to do it once, maybe twice per year. They may, it may, I don't know what the water temp is. It may be a little early or we might've missed it, I guess. It's gonna be pretty close. It's gotta be something up there in that shallow area. Well, there's that sun. There's that sun, that's what we need. The sun's actually gonna be better on that side. You haven't seen any on beds though, have you? Back there, I can't. I can't. You're kind of. You're closer than me. I haven't seen any. It's ter it's pretty dirty. That looks so good. It looks sick, dude. It looks so good. It's got a fine big, big Sheila. Oh, oh yep, there he is. yep. You got it. You got it. We sight fished on. You saw him too. Yeah, I saw that too. Dude, we caught the male. Maybe the female's up there. Let's go, dude. Oh, watch yourself oh. now. Woo! Hey, got me right in the ass. Still on there? Oh. Yeah. Oh, rip. Right in the touch. Yeah, <laughs> there there you go. go. Dude, yeah, we saw that one come out. So there's a there is a dark spot up there to the left under that tree. Yeah. That could be a fish, dude. That's a pretty dark spot. I'm gonna kinda position, see if I can get another cast up there. That male came out and smoked it yeah. though. You can see him come fall out. The problem is there's all this little cheese around the edges, so it makes it a little tough for this bait. Let's see what happens if I throw in there. Ah, can't tell if that's a fish. That might that might be a fish up there. I might have to get closer just so I can see. Eh, might be a stick. Yeah, I don't really see nothing swimming. 
she could be hiding in the cheese. That's the other problem. That that cheese was not here last year. I don't remember it. That's not helping things because the, the fish could be up under the cheese and you'll never see them. We've been waiting like three days to film this video thinking they're going to be on beds, wait till it's calm and sunny, and it never got calm. So we just said, screw it, we're going fishing anyway. And now we're just getting blown around like a freaking kite. We might continue this into tomorrow afternoon. If it gets calm. It's going to be sunny and calm. Or we're catching them, but... Oh, oh, yep, oh, 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 drop it down, drop it down again, drop it down again. Dude, he literally ate it out the I boat. was just, I saw I had a bunch of cheese on it, so I was just reeling in as fast as I could. I was getting out of the water. That's crazy. I don't know if you guys saw that, but Banjo was burning it in, and it smoked it. He literally had like nine inches of line out, and it just went, and just smoked the bait. Dude, they're crushing this thing, like actively crushing it. It's not like they're on beds and you're pissing them off. They love this bait. I use my new favorite bait. Yeah, especially that little one, like, you could definitely get away with throwing that a lot more often than oh, this yeah. big one. This just looks like a normal bluegill. Yeah. I wish I knew what the water temp was. I don't think they had spawned out, though. I don't even see any fry or nothing. I think we're just about right. Oh. You get one? Oh, yep. we got one. Bader got a little guy. Little guy. That's a squeaky. Yeah. Dude, that's oh. oh! He spit, he spit it out. Yeah, he barely could bite that. Let's see if I can get in here without blowing around. Dude, I can't control this boat. Oh God, he's in, he's in, he's in. He's in. Oh, we hit a log. <laughs> I got what? We hit a log right here and I just. <laughs> I've only seen that in movies, bro. <laughs> oh, that got hurt. <laughs> Where, where, where's your rod at? <laughs> oh my god, I've never seen that happen in real life. I, did you, could you see the log or did you not see it? I was like trying to like lean back. I right saw it. I saw the log. Back, but it was too late by the time <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> oh, I'm dying. You see that log right there? Oh my god. god. Oh, my stomach hurts so bad. Man, that was a good rod, too. That's a brand new reel. <laughs> we need the water dragons to come find it. Oh, my God. I have Already never... wet now. You might as well go swimming for it. Yeah, I don't think we're finding that guy. I don't, I have never seen that happen before. <laughs> Ever. That was great. We literally, the wind was just blowing us. <laughs> I saw the log the whole time. It hit, it, it, he just fell right in the water. It hit a lot harder than I thought we were going to hit. <laughs> and you I almost... Didn't. Yeah. Like you caught yourself oh, and then you just went right in the water. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I mean, I'm glad it's not that like, cold. It felt good. <laughs> Is that, was that refreshing? Yeah, it kind of was. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never seen nothing like that in my entire life. That would have been the funniest thing ever. I hope the camera got it good. Because that was that was a doozy. Oh uh, yeah, I got it. We got to go in there for that rod at some point. I need to get like a crankbait on or something. <laughs> yeah, it's. It's right off that log. Right, you think it's yeah. by the log? Yeah. I thought it was right by that log, yeah. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life, dude. <laughs> oh, my stomach is hurting so much from laughing. Well, oh, the bubbles are coming up. That's where your rod is. I didn't lose my sunglasses, at least. Hey, you got the mind up, so you're good. He couldn't see that log. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, there's a rod down there. I wanna, I don't, I'm trying to figure out if we could use a ma like not today, but like yeah, if we could use a magnet to find it or something. That was a that was a good that was a good reel. We know where it's at. We'll find it. One of these days we'll find it. Don't worry. All right, well, banjo's damp. Let's keep fishing. Throw in that little corner. If you can up against that big thing. There you go. There's fish over there. Oh yeah. You got him? Yeah. See, I told you. He's I in the cheese. Him. That's him. He was there. God yeah. Banjo's hooked up. Show me here. Hey, I don't want to yeah, fall in again. Called that yeah. shot. I was like, hey, there's a fish right there. And what oh, bam! You did call that one. It might be a little, little early. Either that or late. Just haven't seen any fry or nothing. That tells me we missed it. But not as many shallows I thought we'd see. Even with the wind. Oh yeah. You got him? Oh yeah. Big Sheila? I mean, it's alright. Nah. Oh yeah. It's oh, alright though. Him. It's, it's in that day. cheese in the back. Oh yeah, that's a better one. Okay. Okay, I see you. Oh, come here. Don't fall here. in now. I know, right? That's why I'm sitting down. There you go. All right, that's Woo! not too bad. It's one of the better ones for me. Look how fat he is, too. Yeah. Big, chunky guy. Look at that. Sheesh. Well, that's number, what do you think, five or six? I got three. Three. I think I got a couple. We got a couple. It's probably six, seven fish. Not really bad. Just we're not doing what we wanted to do, which is sight fishing. 
So we might we might have to call it and come back tomorrow a little bit more calm. Oh, he ate it! He ate it! He ate it! He's right under the dock. Come up and ate it. There you go. Woo! Look at that fatty. <laughs> I was literally just burning it out of the dock, and he just came up and crushed it. Sheesh, buddy. I, I'm not trying to get hooked now. You take it easy, pal. Yes, sir. That's the one thing I like about this bait too. You just they swipe at it. And you just get hooks all up in the face. Oh yeah. There we go. You. Not a bad one, right under the dock. I think that's where we're gonna end it. I know we're catching fish, but like I said, I, the goal is to come out with swim baits, do some sight fishing, so we'll see you guys tomorrow. Shoo! What's going on, folks? We are back, ready to get after it with our goose friend. Oh, hey, what are you doing there, buddy? I wanna see if he's laying eggs over here. What do we got going on? We got any eggs? There? Oh, dude, there's an egg, an actual egg. Look at that. Oh God! Hey, I'm sorry. Hey, listen. Hey, I'm sorry. Look at that egg right there. That was not. That was not there, right? No, huh. Okay, okay, okay. We might have some baby geese. Okay, we're gonna just let them be. Well, we are back, ladies and gentlemen. We got. We got the goods. This is our new tackle storage. It works out great. So we don't have to transport it. But we're still dangling mega right here. Okay, Banjo's not with us. He's still drying off, I think, from falling in. It's just Zach and I, and we are back. This is. This is the, the, the wind we need, okay? It's not quite as sunny as I would like. A little cloudy, but we got the Mondos on. It don't matter if it's sunny or cloudy. If you got Mondos on, you're seeing straight into the freaking water. So we are ready to give it a dangle and actually, hopefully, potentially catch some bed fish. That's the goal, so stay tuned. Shoo, we are out here. So that is the dangle piece, folks. This is the perfect day to be sight fishing, bed fishing, whatever it might be. We're not sure what, you know, what they're doing though. Are they on beds? Are they just shallow? Are they cruising? Are they already spawned out? Is it just males up shallow? We haven't quite figured it out. I also haven't figured out how to get my hook off this thing without, there we got it. But we're still dangling. Big old contender swim bait. Look at this. Look at this thing in the water right now. Now it's not windy. You guys can actually see this thing. Look at that. Oh, oh, that's a bass. You see the bass? Yeah. He's checking it out. There's another one right below him. It's about as big as him. You can see how lifelike this thing is. I mean, it's it's a juicy one. So we've got the perfect conditions. Chuck it out there. We don't have to sit there and fight the wind. We ain't got to worry about banjo. We got one. First cast. First cast. Are you serious right now? I was just talking about how we don't throw about banjo falling overboard because he's not out here and it's not windy either. Look at that. <laughs> Let's go, son. That's a good... Uh-oh. We might be dealing with some spawned outness. This guy's a little skinny. See that guy? He's not terribly skinny. He's a little skinny though. I don't I don't know. He's about average. We might we might just have to fish and just see. What do we start catching? See you later, dude. That's a good size fish though. That's not the size we need to take out. That's not the stunted size. That's a pretty darn good size fish. So anyways, we just got started, folks. I think it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna cruise around, look for some big Sheilas, throw in the big old swim bait, and see what we can get to buy. Well, we haven't seen any cruising yet. It would help if it was a little sunnier. It's not terrible. You're not able to see like the the beds themselves, they don't glow like they do when it's real sunny out. You're really just looking for some fish. Oh, dude, this bait. Oh, this bait is just so sexy. Just, whew, whew, whew. I think I will be able to see the fish bite though. The water's pretty darn clear. There's a bunch of cheese. You can see all that green cheese stuff. So I'm kind of trying to fish the edges and seeing if there are any big Berthas laying up in the cheese, if I can get them to come out from the edge of it, since I can't throw it inside since it's a treble hook bait. I'm sure some of them are laying up in that thick stuff. I need to get the old topwater frog out here or something to take care of business. Oh, oh, there's one chasing it. He's chasing it. I can't see him now. There was one chasing. I don't know if it was on a bed or not. It's kind of hard to see. We're a little far. Where are you at, Big Sheila? Oh, there was one right up on it. Oh, there's one back there. Chasing. Is there one chasing it? Yeah. Oh, that one? Yeah, yeah, I see it. Come on. Oh, come on. It's not that big. It's like about the same size I just got. Ooh, that one might be on a bed. It's getting a little territory. Are you getting feisty on me now, fish? I'm trying not to get too close. It might, this one might be on a bed. Oh yeah, it's gotta be on a bed, dude. Keep circling back. He's being such a little weenie. It's just a contender, ain't nothing you gotta worry about. 100% on a bed though. All right, well, we'll give you a free pass for the day. We don't want those guys anyway. We want big, we want big Bertha. That one's like, meh, pound and a half, two pounds. Ooh, oh. what are you doing there, bud? That one's cruising pretty hard. It's probably in the cheese. We gotta come out here with the topwater frog next. A lot of times when you're sight fishing, bed fishing this time of year, the duration of time that it takes for a fish, once you kind of like, I wouldn't say spook, spook's the wrong word, but like, you know, once they kind of see you and they kind of dart off, the quicker they go back to the bed, the more, the closer they are to actually like laying eggs and being protective over it. If you see a fish on a bed and they just and take off and they don't come back for five minutes, 
pretty hard to catch that fish usually. You want one that darts off, maybe has like a 20 foot radius and then flips back around and comes right back down to it. Those are a lot easier to catch. Not You can't catch all of them. Like this guy that we were just messing with, he was coming right back right away, but this was just a little too intimidating for him. Um, and sometimes you need something that just jiggles because this thing has to be kind of moving. Otherwise it sits on the bottom. This is more of a reaction where they just see, oh, big bluegill in my bed, you know, trying to eat my eggs, boom, and they smoke it. That guy's a little bit, a little bit scared. And so sometimes you might want to throw like a bandito bug or something or even a, a lunker log. And you got to sit there and just kind of like, you got to piss them off to where they'll just, sometimes they'll pick it up and move it off their bed and spit it back out. Well, obviously you set the hook before they spit it back out. So bed fishing is like a pretty dynamic deal. It can be the most frustrating thing in the world. It could be like the best, easiest fishing in the world. You just got to find the right fish. And where did the wind come from? Why does it follow us everywhere? What? What the hell, Win? You're lucky Ban's not out here, otherwise he'd be swimming by now. Ooh, there's one right there. I didn't even see Ooh, that yeah, one. Yeah, that's a decent one. He's looking at it. I can't let it I promise this thing. This thing sinks a little quick for these really shallow fish. I have to kind of keep it moving. It doesn't give them a whole lot of time to react, which is kind of the idea, but they have to make up their mind really fast. Yeah, you need you need a you need a dart. A weightless soft plastic dart. Something that'll just slowly sink. This guy just sinks just a hair quick because there's just all this moss on the bottom. If this was like a rock bottom, mud bottom, sand bottom, you could just let this bluegill sit on the bottom, you know, and it looks like it's kind of moving around eating the eggs. We got this gunk all over the bottom to where it, it just kind of gums up the trebles. You got to get them to react real quick. And it, the other thing I've noticed with bed fishing, if they see you, they see the boat, they don't react right away. That's why like, well, the first one I caught today, you know, I bombed it out there. They didn't know we were even here. Boom, they react to it. So it's kind of, it's a little bit of a struggle to find. I'm, I'm just telling you guys what's going on here in case you guys go out there. Oh, hey, there's a log right here. I think that was Banjo's log. Is that Banjo? We need to find his rod, by the way. We need we need the water dragons to come out here and find that rod Banjo chucked in the water. Oh, there's a nice log right there. Look at that one. That's Banjo's arch nemesis right there. He loses his sleep at night just thinking about that sucker. We need- I bet they'd smoke that small I, I said, where's, oh, it's in the water, I forgot. I say, where's Banjo's small guy, the old junior contender? I bet they would munch. This guy's just a little intimidating for those like one, one and a half pounders, those like 13 inches, which is okay. We're not about that little life. We want the big ones only. Gotta kind of sift through them, guys. So it's all right. If you only want to catch big ones, you throw something like this and you catch big ones. Yep. Oh, he oh. oh, hit it right away. All right, big Sheila. We're still looking for you. What is it, Weenie Hut Junior Day? Yeah, those are little guys. They're just, they're being little weenies. We're watching all these, they, they chase it. It's got good draw power. They're just being little weenies today. Where do you think that fifth goose went? Am I? Mm -hmm. Where do you think it's sitting? Was it up here when we got here? Or was nah. Has it I haven't seen it for time? I haven't seen it for a few days. Rip. But he might he might have gotten KO like banjo. Oh, he's on it. He's got it. He's got it. Yes, we got him finally. We got it. You know what it was? I let it sit on the bottom. That there was sand right there. Look at that guy. <laughs> oh, big red. Hey Jim. Whoa. Dude, these might be spawned out, dude. Hey, pow, 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 pow. That's a spawned out fish, dude. We might be a little late to the party. That's a skinny guy. I don't even know if that's necessarily a female, but it's just like, they definitely ain't full of food or eggs. That was the deal. I saw him and it's sand. You can see there's some sand right here. I wouldn't say sand. It's probably dirt, but it's it's clean dirt. It's not that mossy, cheesy stuff. And I just let it sit and he nosed on it. I twitched it one time and he popped it. That's all it takes. You just got to give him time to look at it. This thing's sitting on the bottom like that. Looks like a bluegill eating the eggs. And that's why they get so pissed. We just got too much freaking cheese out here to be throwing this sucker, but hey, we got another one. Come on, give me one more, Sheila. We pretty much fished the pond. I think they're kind of in a funk right now. They're definitely not as aggressive as they were when we were out there when it was windy. It's like they're a little bit more timid. We hadn't seen Bertha either. All I want to do is see a six pounder and chuck this thing right in front of her face and watch her just wah, wah. We hadn't had the opportunity yet. We haven't seen any fish over, over. What the hell was that? Look at Dude, oh, that's, a, that's a big fish. What's he doing? What's he doing? That is a big What's fish. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's he doing? There's a giant bass. What's, is you think he crushed a bluegill? Dude, I, it may have been. I thought I saw something I hanging out of its mouth. Holy that crap. That was him. Yeah, that was a big fish. Oh, there it is. That white thing. I bet that's a dead fish. Holy Let's see. cow. Is this a dead bait fish? It looks like a goose feather. Oh, rip. Yeah, it is a goose feather. We're in the middle. All of a sudden, big old explosion. Looked back. I think a bass smoked a bluegill and was choking. Because that's what they do when they yeah. choke. And he came out and did one of these. And that was, that like, was, a, a, that was a four or five fish. pounder, dude. They must be, I bet they spawned out then. Cause if that's out, if it's out that deep feeding, that's yeah. big Sheila and she ain't thinking about laying no eggs anytime soon. Are you serious? 
We missed the spawn. So that makes sense. I think we're, we're what we're seeing is all the males. All the males are guarding the nest, and that's why they're chasing stuff, and they're not eating. And it all makes sense now. Because I'm throwing this out there, and we're getting tons to draw in. They chase, they chase, they chase. And until I can let it rest on the bottom, they don't bite. You know why? Because if I rest this thing on the bottom, it looks like it's eating the eggs. So then they have to physically attack the bait. But if the bait just keeps moving, because I can't usually let it sit on the bottom because there's too many weeds. If I throw it out there and I'm twitching it, try to get a reaction out of them, and I just keep moving it, they follow it. And as soon as I get out of their territory, then they turn around and go back because they did their job and they scared the bluegill away. They're not on feed mode, they're on protect mode. And until this bluegill lays on top of their bed and poses a legitimate threat, they don't touch it. This all makes sense now. Like the fact we're fishing for post spawn males guarding. I haven't seen any fry. So I, I, they maybe haven't had, dude, we might've missed it by like a day or two. I think we, we might've just barely missed it because that was big Sheila and she had nothing on her mind, but just eating fish, which is usually what they do. They spawn, they lay their eggs and then they go deep and they feed and they, well, I wouldn't say they go deep and feed. They're usually pretty tired, exhausted, and they kind of get lethargic. What the heck, man? I'm so sad. I caught my six pounder last year. I wanted to visit her and ask her how she's doing this year. And that might've been her. She, <laughs> that she, might've been she her. Gave, she gave us the finger, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is that, is that a good the dad finger. joke? I'm, I, you know, I'm practicing. The finger, you know, just the, screw you boys, you missed the spawn. I'm already out here crunching bluegill. <sighs> Freaking rip. Well, anyways, there you have it, folks. We caught some fish on the old contender. If you guys want to get it, it'll be linked down below if you guys want to go check it out. But hopefully you guys at home enjoyed a good old fashioned fishing video. Brought it back to my roots, the OG fishing. If you have any other ideas, maybe we frog the cheese. Maybe we flip white colored banditos at some of these males to see if we can get them to bite. Um, we're not sure. We're going to keep coming out here just to make sure we officially missed the spawn. I'm, I'm sorry. We tried. I've been out here every day for the last, well, not every day, about every other day for the last week, but it's been too freaking windy. I think what happened was the fish spawned anyways. They don't care if it's windy. I care if it's windy. So unfortunately, we may or may not have missed bed fishing season. Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you on the next one and peace.